And good afternoon. The time is now three minutes after the hour of 3 o'clock, and you're tuned to 90.1 FM KPFT. We'd like to thank everybody for tuning in and joining us today, especially those li- Internet listeners from around the world. Uh, thank you all so much. Anytime during the show you have any comments or questions, feel free to reach out to us. You can reach us up here at 713-526-5738. But for the next few minutes, we're going to be talking with some very, very special guests here that have stopped by the studio today to talk about a brand new disc. I'm talking about the ladies from Campfire Soul, Miss Sarah Grace and Reagan Kimberly. And they've also uh, brought along their uh, their uh, chauffeur and their head roadie when the, in the form of Brian and Jennifer Kimberly, mom and dad. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, thanks for taking the time yeah. to come down. How's everybody today? We're good. That's and it. sunburn. <laughs> <laughs> and sunburn. We noticed that you had a little color. You must have been out by the pool yesterday or, or doing some yard work or something. You were a little uh, little pink. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> well, what were you doing to, to get the sun? We were at the St. Patrick's Day Festival in Galveston, and we played at Pleasure Pier the day before. So on Friday, we played at Pleasure Pier, and then Saturday, we played at the St. Patrick's Day Festival, and we were just out in the sun all day long. We put sunscreen on, but... Yeah, all that sun reflecting off the concrete, that'll do it every time, won't it? Well, thanks again for taking time to come down here, and congratulations on your debut release as Campfire Soul. Y'all just released a new CD. It's called The Blues... Uh, found me. Uh, it, this, this, is it available in record stores yet? Yes. It is available now? Yeah, iTunes, website, all whole nine yards. So, Spotify. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I know that the band originally formed like in 2013. Am I correct in that? Yes, sir. About 2013. So y'all have uh, been playing together. And how old are you now, if you don't mind me asking? 14. And you're 14. And oh, you're, I'm 12. And you're 12. And I can say, in all honesty, that you young ladies are playing way beyond your uh, your age right now. Thank you. I've had the pleasure of seeing y'all over those uh, few years, and have seen y'all grow leaps and bounds as as uh, uh, blossoming artists. Um, also, recently had the pleasure of taking part in a little uh, school activity that uh, your pops over there helped organize. Uh, you want to mention that real quick, Brian, about uh, w- yeah, we, you should be really proud of your daughters yeah. the way they've stepped up and really led this class. You have to organize it, but these girls are leading the class. Absolutely. We did a, a Blues in the School project um, at their uh, at their middle school um, with the band and orchestra kids, uh, and it was a nine-week uh, blues appreciation course and performance course, and it culminated with a uh, performance at the House of Blues. So. Uh, we're really proud of that, and, and while we're on that subject, I'll go ahead and throw this in here too. We're kind of going to continue in that vein. We're doing a uh, a youth jam uh, with a workshop with the girls, and um, uh, Zach person's going to join them, and and um, Matthias Latine's going to help with that uh, at the uh, School of Rock Clear Lake, uh, April thirtieth. It's on a Sunday, so that's an open jam. Any youth around Houston's welcome to be part of that. Is that Kenny Cordray's thing? Uh, no, it's it, it was kind of put on by us. Uh, okay, really. all right. Um, but the idea is just to kind of keep keep what we're doing, you know, kind of keep spreading the blues with with, with the youth, you know. That's that's kind of what we've been we've enjoyed. So that's kind of what we're going to try to keep that going, in, and hopefully that'll turn into a a multiple time kind of thing. So they're going to do a little workshop with the kids um, the first hour, and then after that's going to be an open jam with all the youth, you know. So well, I really have to sing your praise, uh, you and uh, your lovely wife Jennifer. For y'all are what cons- are considered model parents. Okay? <laughs> More parents should model themselves after what y'all have been doing with your with the, these young ladies here, and, and get involved with their kids like this because y'all have really, uh, well, you've made them what they are today. I mean, your 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 tutelage well, and direction. <laughs> I mean, that that God given talent there, but but sure. you you've really helped them sure. uh, go places where it would been been kind of hard to do, go by themselves at, at 12 and 14 years sure. of age. Sure. Well, we, we like to say if they were really good at checkers that we would be the best checker parents in town. Too, you know? so, <laughs> there you go. Uh, <laughs> they just happen to be in something that we really like, so you know, it's all good, but uh but yeah, we and, and I think you know, I'll let Sarah kind of talk about that, but the title of that the, the Blues Found Us is or Blues Found Me that that kind of came about because you know, we we were we started as a trio, just kind of doing Americana stuff, uh-huh. um, and then the blues really did kind of find us. And then you know, you've seen that growth really, but um, but that's one of the reasons why we think it's so important to kind of keep that back and you know put it you know teach more youth you know more of their peers about the blues and what playing the blues is about and the you know the history and culture of it all. So. Uh, we're proud of that. We're very proud of doing that. Well, this uh, band that we have in the studio here, uh, Campfire Soul, they are the proud re- recipients 
uh, of the uh, Houston Blue Society's uh, Youth Scholarship uh, Show, uh, Jimmy T. 99 Nelson Scholarship Award, and also have served as the Houston Blue Society's representative at the International Blues Challenge Youth Showcase performance several years in a row, too. And <laughs> there's not too many uh, youngsters at, at this uh, age can make those claims. Uh, as far as the uh, the international the, the showcase, the youth showcase in Memphis, Tennessee, what was your takeaway from the whole experience, uh, Reagan? Um, it was really cool. I, I enjoyed seeing all of the different people that are involved in the blues um, and all the other youth, uh, too. Because, I mean, uh, Houston is a really rich blues city, but um, it was cool to see all of the different kinds of blues from all different cities. Now, were you aware that there was other flavors and styles of blues outside of the Houston blues scene? Yes. It, it was really... Um, kind of like, brought it more into focus for you? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, uh, Sarah, what was your your takeaway about that? What did you What was the most rewarding part of the, that whole experience for you? I liked meeting new people. Like um, we, the first time we went, we met John Del Toro, and we really connected with the Nika Chambers. And there were so many other people we met that we wouldn't have known, like you, um, for instance, from that experience that um, otherwise we may not have run into, or it would have been really late um, that we would have run into them. Now, the, the new CD, once again, is, is titled uh, The Blues Found Me. How long have you been uh, working on this project? When did first, uh, the, the seed was first planted until it, it was actually recorded? Well, we have a lot of friends, that, um, like youth, that are also out there um, doing their own thing. And they've all, they all have albums, but we were like, we want to wait until we have something that's kind of, like, you know, kind of good. Yeah. So um, once we had something that was kind of good, which we, we th- we're really proud of it. We think it's um, pretty pretty neat. Um, we were like, all right, I guess we can get a recording for the time. If not, if, if it doesn't like, you know, if it's not number one, that's no worries. Um, because uh, it, it's a recording for us. It's a recording for us to remember where we were at this time. And uh, then we did it in December. We made the rec- We made the album in December over winter break. We had to... We had to squeeze it in there because school, you know. And then uh, we released it a month ago-ish. Yeah, it came out March, or well, it was the 7th is when it came out, you know, officially. But it, one thing that was kind of, that we thought was kind of good when we put it out was that we'd played all that stuff out live in front of audiences. So we were able to, you know, we've been playing that, most of the stuff on there for a little, you know, over a it's year. It's grown so. legs. Over. Right, exactly. So we... We were able to kind of get rid of some stuff and, you know, keep the stuff that we thought was good um, or, you know, got a reaction from audiences as we played it. So uh, we felt like that was pretty good. And and then we also kind of caught lightning in a bottle uh, because Zach Person's on it with us the whole time. Um, We got another saxophone player, Mogi Taylor, that's on there uh, that we were just kind of lucky that we were able to get those guys in there and have them have them record with us. So uh, we, we were really happy that we were able to pull that project off, you know. And they are very busy, you know. School obviously is first, so we have to kind of. Work well, that's what I was about to follow up on. Uh, I know a lot of parents are concerned about their kids having extracurricular activities, whether it be music or band or or football or soccer, whatever it is, and then their grades suffering. How are how are y'all doing on your grades? <laughs> Don't worry, straight A's, both of us. Straight A's. Reagan's <laughs> like checking her grades in the morning. Oh my <laughs> gosh, my grades dropped. What is it, Reagan? A ninety nine. <laughs> I'll bring it back up. Don't worry. <laughs> oh my goodness, Reagan. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, we are so very proud of you. And uh, uh, when you're saying that you kind of want to make sure you're, you're, the material recorded was kind of good, putting out <laughs> for your debut, I can, I can uh, attest that this is kind of good. <laughs> I've listened to it. And uh, just to, just to kind of compare it, but somewhere between 12 and 14, I was just getting the training wheels off my bicycle. So <laughs> y'all, y'all have done kind of good at, 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 at performing this level. Uh, so early in your, your young uh, careers. Once again, if you tuned in, we have Campfire Soul here in the, the studio. We have uh, Sarah Grace Kimberly, Reagan Kimberly, and their parents, uh, Brian and Jennifer Kimberly. Um, you, there are still other members in the band that have kind of come in and out, either performed in, in Memphis or uh, around town. You want to kind of give some shout-outs there, ladies? Sure. I'll start off with yeah. uh, my rhythm section buddy. Uh, that would be Daniel Holder. And where's Daniel today? Uh, He's actually at Beauty and the Beast. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> Which he probably wouldn't want me to say that. But he's a good brother, so he's, he's there with his sisters. That's a good boy. <laughs> and the rest of the bandmates that you've kind of, uh, I know I know, Pops has been known to uh, grab a guitar a time or two and, and play, huh? Yes. Um, and then we also, uh, Zach Person plays with us. Uh, Matthias Latine, he went to um, Memphis with us. Uh, and Mogi Taylor, he actually played a gig with us yesterday. He went to Memphis with us too, <laughs> and I think that's everybody. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah. Well, we have a uh, a track queued up on this. Uh, um, I think I'm going to let uh, Reagan set this this one up. Uh, we have track number two uh, set up. It's called "The Blues Family." You want to tell us about this? It just come kind of what you, what your dad was just talking about. Uh, y'all weren't really focused on the blues, but the blues kind of found you at a young age. Yeah. Um. That pretty much sums it up. Um, it talks about how fortunate we were um, to find the blues and uh, kind of how it evolved to become this. Well said. <laughs> and without any further ado, let's hear it. Brand new music from Campfire Soul right here on Hello Blues.